am actually cooking today um, a wild garlic soup. I was um, walking my dog earlier and I saw this older lady from my little town. You know, I live like in this little town now where everybody knows everybody. And it's like this lady I haven't seen in a while, long, long time, but I've known her since I was a little child. I was like, what's she doing there in the woods? And she was like collecting wild garlic. I was like, oh yeah, it's wild garlic time. So I, all I had was like a poop bag. It was a very clear <laughs> poop bag. And I promise it was not scented. And I was like looking at my husband. I'm like, can, can we use that? I was like, it's just a plastic bag. <laughs> like, it's just weird to think that way, right? But anyway, so we went into the woods and I collected some wild garlic. Um, and I'm making right now, it doesn't look like much, but I'm making a wild garlic soup right now. So cool. So I was picturing you like frolicking through the forest with your little like <laughs> basket in tow. But no, you're just sitting there no. with your poop bag. <laughs> with my poop bag. And actually, since it's just you and I, I think, okay, turn it off. I think I'm going to take you with me really quick to my outside and show you the wild garlic in my garden. Yes, I love it. So we've got to talk about this wild yeah, garlic because second. because here in the U.S., I don't think it grows that much. I've been on the hunt for it for a very long time because I have family in Scandinavia and it grows everywhere there. It's almost... It invasive like I don't know if that's the right I mean word, but. it's really annoying like I really wanted to have wild garlic and I planted this teeny tiny piece um years ago and my dad I moved back and my dad was like I don't know why there is so much wild garlic and I was like well I do <laughs> but Sorry, let dad. me show you um so this is my hazelnut tree it's getting dark here but here we have wild <gasps> garlic. <laughs> oh my it's god! Really picking up. <laughs> That's amazing. But, That's amazing. Yeah. I've tried everything possible to grow it to here in the southeast, everywhere. and not have not had too much luck. I would say. And there you are, so, just surrounded you know, by it. Yeah, um, it's super delicious. It's so garlicky. It's really cool. Um, like you said, it spreads like crazy. Um, in the woods, you always find it in like more um, part shaded and wetter spots. And the very important thing is that wild garlic is a one stem and then the leaf. And oh, this but there's a bloom time, stalk too, right? Sorry. There is a bloom stalk. Um, mine is not ready yet, but also the thing is once it's blooming, it really doesn't taste good anymore. That's it. it. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the the big thing is you have to be very careful because there is one plant, Colchicum crocus, that can look similar and that is super deadly. So you eat one leaf oh. and you're dead. So, so. <laughs> so we need to do a disclaimer for any of our listeners Please that be might be careful. listening from Europe or planning a trip to Europe. Don't frolic around the forest eating things with broad leaves because... <laughs> You might yeah, die. Just if you know what to do. But crocus, you will like really see the difference. Like it curls up. It's from the bottom of the leaf. There is no stem. Um, but funny enough, I'm a horticulturist and this is my garden. And I still prefer going to the forest because I really know where it grows. And Colchicum um, would never grow there. But in my garden, I don't trust that my dad didn't like plants crocus at one point and now I don't know so I don't so use funny. this one <laughs> you go out into the woods and follow old ladies to find the allium yes <laughs> absolutely follow the old ladies and you follow will the old ladies be safe. sorry it's a little That's... dark here going back to my kitchen 